Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Welcome to this little English lesson about snow. Haha, <laughs> we are in the middle of a little snowstorm here in Ontario, Canada, and I thought this would be a great time to do a little English lesson for you about snow. Well, hey, welcome to this little English lesson about snow. We're getting lots of it right now. I'm Bob the Canadian. If you are new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up at some point during this video if it's helping you learn English. Well, we certainly have seen a little bit more snow than we normally do at this time of year. So I thought this is a great time to do a little English lesson on snow. We are not quite in the dead of winter that's the English phrase that means the middle of winter. In fact, it's still fall here, but we have just a little bit of a snowstorm. It's kind of fun. We are getting a lot of snow coming down and you can see in the background, one of the ways we would describe this is to say that there is a nice blanket of snow. You can see the snow is kind of like a white blanket on the ground. So you might recognize this as the picnic table that I used to do live streams from. Uh, and I wanted to use this to demonstrate what we mean by accumulation. We use the word accumulation to talk about how much snow has fallen. Um, so if I take this ruler and I put it into the snow, we already have four centimeters of snow. That's actually not a lot. We're expecting another 20 to 25 centimeters of snow tonight. So right now, the total accumulation, the total amount of snow is four centimeters. Um, this is my daughter's jack-o'-lantern from Halloween. Um, it needs to go in the compost soon. So that, if you're wondering what that is, that's a pumpkin that we carved and we put a little candle inside for Halloween. So you'll notice I have my winter hat, which we also call a toque, and I have my gloves on because even though it's only minus two Celsius right now, with the wind chill factor, it feels like minus seven. The wind chill factor is kind of what the wind makes it feel like when it's blowing in cold weather. So even though it's only minus two, it feels like it's minus seven out here. It's actually not that cold yet for a Canadian. Um, I'm like, bring on the minus 20. That's when I feel like it's really cold. So if you live in a northern country where you have snow and you like to drive a vehicle, you will have a snow brush, which will have a scraper at the end. The snow brush is for brushing snow off of your vehicle and the scraper is for scraping ice. You can hear the sound. The scraper is for scraping ice off the vehicle as well. So usually we try to park our van inside, but we actually have too much stuff in our garage right now. So tomorrow morning, I will have to brush the snow off of my van so that I can go to work. Oh, I need to turn around quick. That is a snow plow going by. I was hoping to be closer to the road. The snow plow is cleaning the snow off the road and he is also putting down salt and sand so that when we drive on the road, we don't have to drive through snow and the salt melts the snow and the sand gives us more traction. So, um, that was a snowplow. So you can maybe just see that there are a lot of snowflakes falling right now. One of the things that uh, I used to do as a kid is you try to catch snowflakes on your tongue. It's kind of fun when you look up and you see all the snowflakes coming down and you try to catch them. So snowflakes are the small little flakes of snow that fall out of the sky. And there's certainly a lot of them falling right now. So another thing we do in the winter is we put snow tires on our vehicles. This vehicle will be going in uh, next week actually to have its snow tires put on. These are still the normal tires. So right now it's not very safe for me to drive this vehicle in the snow. So uh, I think next Tuesday, this van is going to the garage and the mechanic will change the tires and put snow tires on for me. That'll make it drive a lot better in a snowstorm like this. Probably should have done it last week. So often when the weather gets bad, they'll talk about the driving conditions. And there's two parts to the driving conditions. There's the road condition. That's how much ice and slush and snow there is on the road. And then there's the visibility. Visibility is how far you can see 
through the snow. So you'll notice right now that we have really bad road conditions and we have pretty bad visibility as well. It's hard to see really far in the distance when you're driving. One of the things that usually happens when we have a snowstorm like this is school gets canceled. My kids are really hoping that tomorrow will be a snow day. A snow day in Canada is a day when they decide to keep the schools closed because it's dangerous to be out driving. So they just decide it's better for the children to stay home. So my kids right now are really hoping that tomorrow will be a snow day. I'm kind of hoping it is too, actually, because then I get to stay home from work. <laughs> so, so one of my favorite things to do as a kid when there was a snowstorm was to go outside and make snowballs. If you pack the snow, you can make a snowball out of it. And then when we were kids, we would have snowball fights. So you would throw snowballs at each other on the playground or at the park, and it was super, super fun. So one of the things that my kids and I love to do in the winter is go sledding. There's actually another video, I'll put a link up here uh, from last winter where I went sledding with my kids. Um, and that is just a fun thing to do outside in the winter. Another thing that people like to do in the winter is to go snowmobiling. But you would think with the size property I have, I would have a snowmobile, but I don't. So hopefully a lot of other people with snowmobiles go out and really enjoy the day tomorrow with this much snow this early in the season. So the last thing I'm going to do before I go inside uh, is to make a snow angel. I'm not sure if you've ever seen one, but kids in Canada often make snow angels and this is how you make them. You lay on the ground and you do this. And when you get back up, there's kind of the shape of an angel on the ground. Can you see it? Well, hey, that was a little lesson on snow. Uh, and uh, it was really fun to make this during the snowstorm. I'm Bob the Canadian. Thank you so much for watching this English lesson. If it helped you a little bit, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. And thanks so much for watching.